Hi guys, my name is Sergei Storzinski and I work for F5. In 5 minutes or less, I will show you how out-of-path DDoS protection works in Join F5 Flowmon solution. On-premises deployment of this solution is super easy. Flowmon collector receives and analyzes NetFlow or SFlow data from IP routers and doesn't require changing the existing IT infrastructure or passing the actual traffic through big IP or Flowmon devices. NetFlow data contains flow information that can be used for DDoS detection and Flowmon leverages its detection and mitigation capabilities combined with F5's unrivaled scrubbing power. So let's take a look at a typical scene flood attack scenario. We have two routers, router 1 ingress, which is located on the network edge, and router 2 egress, which is located close to the target or victim server. Router 1 continuously exports SFlow data to Flowmon collector and is peered with Flowmon over IBGP. We also have an attacker machine which we will use to generate scene flood DOS attack. Traffic monitoring will help us see the flood in real time. It will also show DOS traffic scrubbing in action. I will launch the attack now. Traffic is rising in both routers. It typically takes under 30 seconds for Flowmon to detect the attack. Now traffic has dropped to normal on router 2. This is because DDoS protection has kicked in. Flowmon DDoS Defender UI shows an active attack. The following mitigation has been applied. DDoS profile for this attack signature has been created and enforced on the big IP AFM. Forwarding layer 4 virtual server was provisioned. BGP redirect command was sent to router 1, instructing it to route all traffic with destination IP from 10.1.30 subnet through F5 Big IP. On Big IP side, number of connections and incoming traffic has increased dramatically. Notice the non existent egress or outbound traffic. Looking at the configuration utility, we see what corresponding virtual server was created. Navigating down to DDoS overview, we find an active DDoS profile which is performing a drop action on all traffic matched the attack vector. Router 1 routing table has changed too. For protected subnet 10.1.30, the next hop is set to 10.1.20.245, which is the IP address of Big IP Virtual Server. We will stop the attack now. The traffic is dropping on the router 1. It will take a few minutes for Flowmon to change the status of the attack to not active, apply mitigation stop rules, and transition the attack to ended state. At this point, traffic has been redirected back to its normal route and all configurations deleted from the Big IP AFM. This is how easy our integrated solution works. All actions are completely automated and the architecture allows for an effective scrubbing of volumetric DDoS attacks. Thank you for watching.